a fat girl eats in a day, starting off with a donut. This is different. Mozzarella sticks with marinara. You're fat! Eat real food for once, man! Eating a donut to start the day? Not even to mention the donut, instead of having jimmies on the on the front or sprinkles or whatever everybody calls them. People make fun of me because I call them jimmies. What do you want from me? You have M&Ms as the sprinkles. That is some pure big back shit. Why are we all collectively coming here? Like on TikTok, why are there so many people watching these big back behaviors, these ginormities of people sitting there swallowing down? It's like the weirdest fetish I've ever seen in my life. I mean, there are, don't get me wrong, there are most definitely weirder fetishes. I've seen them personally. And you know what? The other night, I took a chance. I did. I took a chance. And I went on the front page of the hub. Just, just you know, minding my own business, looking for something special to just see real quick with my eyeballs. And I saw a gangbang. And I thought, you know what? I'm not used to doing this. Let me check it out. Because if you guys don't know, I'm not really interested in watching an actual cameraman be in the room. Because it's just more men. I don't like seeing men in the room paramountly. Uh, but anyway, because the, the ratio is off. You know what I'm talking about? Like, if you're if you're watching a regular pornography, there's one girl and there's one guy and there's usually a cameraman. That's two men for one woman. Anyway, I've watched this BBC gangbang and I'm not even, I'm not even gonna joke with you guys. That shit is basically gay. Every time I've ever watched these gangbangs, every single time these dudes is grabbing each other's asses, they're talking to each other, real flavorful too. Like, yeah, man, you just got out of jail, right, man? Damn, you looking real buff. You looking real good. This so guy, like, bro, there's a woman right here. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Like, can you, can you put your attention on this woman for one second, dude? This, you, you, why are you talking to this guy about how big his meat? Damn, bro, that shit look good enough to, damn, does that shit, is it good? Is it good, bitch? Does it taste good? Why you want to know? Huh? Why you want to know what his flavor of BBC is, dude? What's wrong with you, dude? There's a whole ass woman right here. Can you please, like, do something with this? And then the other guy who's just sitting there stroking his shit. I promise he's not even stroking to the woman. He's beating off to the other two guys. It's like, this, this, is, this is gay. This is basically gay. I'm watching literal right now gay homosexual pornography. After about 15 minutes, I was I, I, I pretty much assumed that it was you know, this is just gay. I mean, the woman's not even mattering at this point. These dudes might as well just start eating each other's ass and start start sucking each other off. But uh, whatever, bro. I'm just saying um, I'd be more inclined to watch that or more declined to watch that than watch big people ingest copious amounts of cheese. I don't even understand why nowadays we even like cheese pulls. What does it really emulate, dude? Like, to me, it kind of creeps me out because you have long hair. Aren't you afraid the cheese is going to get into your hair? You guys ever had gum in your hair? It's probably close to that, I'm assuming. You probably got a call. You just gotta get back. Hot. Sure. Strawberry applesauce. Big as fuck. I hope that's not a real piercing right here. Why do you look like that? There's something, something off about you. I don't know. You look like my Middle Eastern friend. So good. Soup dumplings. Where, where's the protein? Are those Cheetos over there to the left? How come you ain't talking about the Cheetos you just have in your mouth right there, huh? How are you gonna have them in the frame like this, but you're not gonna show us you eating it? Chili crunch to it? Okay, I hate it. I hate it, dude. To do the... Like, you know why she's doing that. Because the noise emulates other things, and she knows that the people that are watching her are probably watching her... I don't know, man. People have told me that the majority of people watching mukbangers are not men beating off. Apparently, it's women. I, I, I was not aware of that. I thought it was a lot of dudes in the comment section just, you know, stroking their shits off, hitting the hit forbidden technique. If you guys know what I'm talking about, doing the double stackers. I don't know, bro. Uh, if that is the case, if it's a lot of women watching this stuff, I just want to ask, why? What are you doing? Why are you watching this shit? For a man, it makes a little bit of sense because you're seeing mouth movements. You're seeing women making noise. Uh, probably good-looking women for the most part. I mean, there aren't that many good-looking women doing this particular type of activity. But I know that there are a lot of women out there that are ma just just absolutely majestically, methodically munching down with all the mouth movements consistently. Um, why? Why are you watching this if you're a woman? I don't understand. Unless you or you yourself are beating off. I mean, th that would make a little bit more sense. Um, but why? It's just like, yeah, I would love to know. If you have ever consumed mukbangs, why? Why? I, I would love to know. Are you not beating off? Shut up. With a hot Cheetos or hot okay. Cheeto puffs? Yeah, I was about to say. Okay. I have water. True. Get your liquid somewhere, I suppose. Why does that spoon look fucked? It's like squared off in the end there. You guys see that? It's so weird. 
I have a P. I know you're joking around. Like, I understand that. It looks like you already had a stroke or two from the, the lack of water that you're already ingesting in a day. But why? Uh, what, what's what's the joke about? about what, what's what's the joke about? Hmm? Like you do know that you're like literally dying. Like this is is this funny to be like ah, ah I'm gonna drink water Coca Cola ah, I'm gonna die oh no D diabetes my foot is falling off oh no like is that really funny is that is that like a joking matter for you bro like <laughs> it's so morbid to sit there and be like water and show up the Coca Cola B and J duo why don't you just why don't you just get like an actual sandwich of PB and J? Why do we ingest so much snack foods in our diet nowadays, man? Like, don't get me wrong, I love sucking upon a good, uh, a good fruit snack. I do. I think fruit snacks are pretty good in your mouth. I mean, obviously, whenever you eat fruit snacks, you're probably gonna be eating two or three ba bags of fruit snacks, um, depending on how big of a person that you are. For me personally, I can, I could probably throw back, not my butt cheeks, but talking about throw back in my mouth. Uh, probably like two or three packets of fruit snacks. I know some other big back individuals that could probably body slam a box, not even thinking about it. I know several dudes personally that could easily bo body down an entire box of Lil Debbie's. Do you guys know the oatmeal cream pies? Man, dude, that's not even a sexual innuendo. Those are actual real things, dude. And they don't taste, after you eat about two of them, you start regretting yourself. You start regretting, like, what are you doing? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know you have the food in front of you. You go, I'm going to body slam this shit. But after the first one, you start realizing, like, your mouth is vibrating a little bit. Um, maybe you're, you're slurring your words because you're eating it so fucking quickly or whatever. Uh, then you realize that there's a grease layer on the top part of the, the the little oatmeal cream pies. And, you know, technically, you are cream pie in your mouth. You're cream pie in your own mouth. How do you feel about that? And I know a dude, he used to, I remember when he went to college, he would literally survive off oatmeal cream pies. He would just go to the local, like, CVS or whatever, and they would have, like, good deals on them shits. He would come back two, three, four boxes of oatmeal cream pies, and he would just swallow them down um, throughout the entire day. He would just eat, like, one or two every hour, and he would just eat them all throughout the day. I mean, this is the Lil Debbie's master. I've never met a dude before that knew exactly what the Lil Debbie's were. He, he had techniques to it. He would microwave the Lil Debbie honey buns. He would throw them in the microwave with a little bit of butter on top. I mean, some pure big back shit, if I'm being honest with you. And you know what? It caught up to him. Uh, I don't think he's eating that many little Debbies now. I think he learned his lesson after ingesting as many as he did. I feel like you get high blood pressure after eating like two or three of them cream pies. Um, the same thing for the honey buns. I don't even know why so many people like the honey buns. That To me, they don't taste that good. But a lot of people I do know, um, they love them. They love them. And, you know, growing up in the hood, I knew a lot of dudes that used to hustle the cream pies. I knew a lot of dudes that used to hustle the cookies. They used to hustle the honey buns. I knew dudes that used to sell them for 50 cents out in the in, in the in the the lunch lady line, bro. So like, you know, the lunch mother would give out your food or whatever. And there was a dude waiting at the end. He was like, yo, you want that? You want that honey bun, bro? You want the honey bun? 50 cents. Um, and he was, he, you know, you buy a box for like three bucks and you, you make it back because it was like six in there. And he would easily, by the end of the day, he would easily have like four or five, six, seven dollars. And he would just do it again every single day. Um, but he was definitely getting high off his own supply. I saw him munching down on his own, own honey buns. But we didn't have microwaves or whatever. But you know what? It wasn't that big of a deal. Because I knew the lunch mothers, they were selling like those baked those baked chips, and uh, they were selling cookies too for fifty cents. These cookies were dehydrated. These cookies were absolutely diabolical. Like you put them in your mouth and you just because it was so dry. And I remember several times my friends would go up there and buy a bag of chips, the baked chips, obviously, because somehow that they're slightly better than the regular Doritos, but. I remember one time my friend had bought the Cool Ranch bag of Doritos and he came back and he popped a bag and there was one chip in that shit. I'm not even playing either. And he went up to the front. He was like, Dude, there's no chips in this. What happened? And the lunch mother was like, sorry, no can do. You eat too much. You eat all of it. You can't fool me. I know you eat this. <laughs> You're not fool me. Stop. Um, I don't know, bro. But she had a point. How do you know that this dude didn't eat it? He probably, he probably is just lying, right? I mean, I would lie. You're getting free food, right? Ooh. Okay, what is this trying to emulate, dude? Mm. You're gross. Ugh. I don't like the nails either. They creep me the fuck out. Can you eat real food? Ugh. This is what a fat girl eats in a day. Why do we start our day with donuts? How many donuts do you have where you can just consistently start your day eating them? Aren't donuts like literally four or five hundred calories just for a little thing too? Go off, Starting queen. Starting off with a donut, and I know how much you guys hate when I talk about how much water I drink. So guess what I'm gonna do? 
talk about how much water I'm drinking. True. Get that Stanley in your mouth. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, she got the Boston cream. Yo. Buffalo chicken wontons and ranch. Okay. Wontons. Uh, I think those are good, I think. I don't know. I've never had them. Damn. There's something about this woman. It's just like creeping me out. I don't like the way she looks. Just, it's uncanny. The environment's uncanny. It's very dark, but it's also light. Uh, the way her face looks, too, it just kind of makes me feel some type of way. Like, I feel pain. Okay. I don't want to see you eat. Just go on to the next clip. I don't, I don't want to see this. Move on. I'm having pizza skulls with... God banana. damn! What the fuck is that? What is this thing? Why can't we just have regular pizza? If you're gonna eat pizza, just have regular pizza. Don't do this like sloppy skull pizza thing for Halloween or whatever. It's a novelty item, I don't mind to stand, but it's kind of disgusting. It's also gross. Um, she could have at least, when she was eating it, said some shit like Kalima, Kalima, Kalima. Love Harrison Ford, by the way. Whatever, dude. Shut up. She does have some very nice eyes, though. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Her eyes are quite delicious. Strawberry applesauce. Great. Getting liquid somewhere. Another refill. It's not bad. Uh, well. Look at this shit real quick. Macaroni cheese, a little bit of green stuff right there. It, it doesn't look bad. This is something I could put my mouth on, definitely. But I'm looking behind you real quick. I'm seeing something right there. I'm seeing a little something extra on the side there. What is, what is up with that? You know what I did today, actually? Because I see a little sink here. Today, I was uh, on a toilet, minding my own business. Uh, you know, sometimes you just wait on the toilet, just watching a video. My water heater in my apartment takes a little bit of time to heat up. So I just put on the water. For like a quick minute just to have it heat up right so because like what i like to do because once it starts getting a little bit colder um my hands get tend to tend to get really really like chilled up really quick which is one of the reasons why if you ever see me doing this it's because my neck is warm and my hands are not so i'm trying to like you know compile the heat from my neck and transfer it to my hands but my hands were cold and i was just waiting for the water to heat up and then i remember uh as it was pouring out into the sink I remember I had put the, the sink stop, so there was clogged up, and then the water started flowing over, and I was like, oh, shit, and then I had to get up, and I shut off the water, you know, really, at first, I didn't even shut off the water, which is crazy, I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing, I literally went into my cabinet and got a towel and threw it on the floor, and then I was like, oh, the water's still running, and then I had to shut off the water real quick, and then uh, eventually it did drain, which is... I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me today, dude. I, I feel like sometimes as I get older, I feel like I become more and more shit of a human being. What is up with that? Like, I feel like I was a pretty optimal human being about five or six years ago. I feel like I hit my apex. But as we get older, you slowly but surely become more and more stupid. What happened? I feel like, I feel like slowly but surely I'm losing more and more. I, I know I'm getting smarter as a human being, but I feel like the other stuff is like slowly but surely I'm, I'm not, I'm not utilizing. I'm not even that old either. So like, as I get older, I'm just like, am I going to get shitter and shitter? Like, how does this work exactly? Like even now, like I have portions of my body that I, I don't even like anymore. Like my thumb doesn't move in the way that I used to like to move it. And uh, that sucks a lot of ass, bro. I fucking hate that shit. You have to drink water now. And back in the day, you didn't have to drink water at all. You could just be dehydrated and have no problems at all. That'll happen. I got baked mac and cheese. By the way, drink water. Water is really, really important. Um, even if you don't feel thirsty, um, if you're peeing yellow or, you know, like you, you know, you're dehydrated, you should be drinking water. It's very, very important to stay hydrated. Pe so many people are just chronically dehydrated throughout the day. Shut up. Spinach. Do you wash these forks? These these look like good forks. I know they're disposable forks, but they look good. Damn, this shirt is meated, bro. Some carrots. Okay. Good carrots. I like carrots. Carrots are good. Looks like a good plate. Um, pot roast. Yeah, it looks like a good plate. I'll fuck with it, dude. It's not bad at all. Now, she was eating like that, and like, you know, not all the time, but like a good amount of time, it wouldn't be that bad. Gotta get the water. It's Diet Coke. Gotta get the water, of course. Good water on that one. Why are your nails like asymmetrical? Like your nails here compared to your other hand are different. Whatever. Cornbread. I do like cornbread and I'm not even black. Uh, it's one of my favorite foods, man. I fucking, I fuck with it so heavily, dude. It's just so dense. The, the texture of it is too, it's like so good in my mouth. The way it, like you get the hard bits, but it's also soft. 
I don't know, there's something about it. Like, and I'm a big textured person. I don't really fuck with things that are weird textured, but you know, cornbread, I fuck with it. I fuck with cornbread heavily. Okay, I don't like licking Hi the nails. Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. The McDonald's breakfasts are diabolical, dude. It, it, look at this patty right here. This shit is so bad. I'll never forget the one time I went to McDonald's with my friend early in the morning before we went to school, and the man got a McDonald's breakfast like this, and he got the pancakes, as you're seeing right there, and the lady behind the counter didn't give him any syrup, so when he was trying to cut into it, it was like super dry, and it was like breaking the knife a little bit, like it was bending the knife, and he went up to the front, he was like, hey, um, do you got any syrup, there's no syrup for my shit, and she was like, no, sorry, no, Yes, I know we not have that one, sorry. And he was like, fuck! And he went back to his he went back to his um table with me. And he's like, they don't got syrup. So that man was just eating dry, dry pancakes, bro. He was just munching them shits in his mouth. And he was chewing on them too. Like ch literally chewing like it was bubble gum. And that same McDonald's has always been busted in my opinion, dude. I went back there like a year ago to get a coffee. As you guys know, I'm prolific when it comes to the coffees. Um, but I was picking up coffee for somebody else because I had somebody I told I had told that person, hey, I'm going to get coffee. And they were like, oh, can you pick me up a coffee? And I was like, yeah, no problem. So I was going to get two and two, one for me. I mean, sorry, two for me, two for that other person for later. And I had ordered four. I said, let me get four hot coffees, uh, one cream, one sugar, and all of them. And uh, the lady was like, yeah, no problem, right? And then she had given me the four. She just put them out on the table, like one, two, three, four. And I was like, oh, can I get a tray? I'm one fucking person. Like, what the fuck? I only got two hands, dude. I'm not like that one Mortal Kombat character where he has like the four hands or whatever his name is. And she was like, oh, we don't have any trays. And I'm just looking at this woman like, you don't have trays? What do you mean you don't have trays? How do you not have trays? I, I, what do you think I'm going to do? How, how am I going to carry four coffees? Four coffees with two. I can't like, you know, bear hug these shits down the fucking street. What are you talking about? How do you not have trays? Why would you let me order Four coffees, knowing that you don't have trays. What are you doing? Like, this is, you're fucking up. You're fucking up. Why would you do that? That's so, it, it, like, it blew my mind that this woman thought I was going to leave the store with four fucking coffees, bro. And I don't even imagine it's going to be a tough time to even get out the fucking store because there's a homeless man out the front sleeping. I'm probably going to trip over this guy because I can't look over my own fucking arms because I'm carrying 40 things. So I just told the woman, just like, whatever, bro. I'm going to leave these here. And she just kept them. Because, like, what am I supposed to do? I can only carry two. So it was like fucking wash, bro. What the fuck ever, dude? That McDonald's was fucking diabolical, man. Just some straight up busted ass shit, man. Whatever. Birthday edition. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. This is what you're eating for your birthday? This is what you eat every day, though. I've seen this woman do what I eat in a day's, and McDonald's is almost always, like, the breakfast menu. But whatever. At least she cut them up properly. Um, I haven't had McDonald's breakfast in so long since they got rid of it. You remember back in the day when they used to have the breakfast all day, every day? That used to be the wave, man. Way before COVID, too, when um, McDonald's was cheaper. You could get a good amount of stuff for a bill. One dollar, dude, back when a dollar menu was actually a thing. Nowadays, there's no, no such thing as a dollar menu, which is suck, suck dick ass. Today for breakfast, I picked up some McDonald's. I got myself the big breakfast, but instead of sausage... I wonder if she actually picked it up or she got the Uber Eats. I got the steak, and of course, I got the big breakfast, the one that... <laughs> Your background is fucking washed, bro. You, what is this shit right here, bro? You look like a girl from 2001 with this shit behind you. Comes with Go the ahead. hotcakes. I made myself a little steak and egg biscuit sandwich, and then I had my picante sauce with some hash brown. I am a big back at heart. Always True. have been, always will be. So when it comes to my birthday, yes, I'm going to have some amazing ass. You know what I don't like is that so many people, like I saw Samira make a video and she was talking shit about somebody that called somebody else a big back. And so many fat people will proclaim that word for themselves. And they go, I am a big back. I'm big as fuck. I'm big backed as hell. And it's so interesting how it's like rules for me, but not for thee. And she'll get like, people will get upset over certain words being utilized from certain groups, but like certain groups can say those words no problem at all. What are you doing, bro? Putting the PlayStation control on the charging port? Like, I don't know. I don't like the charging ports that the PlayStations have. Food. Just put it on the Today table. for lunch, I'm having some pho. As always, for my San Antonio friends, pho. I get the pho from Pho Garden, and it's close to- I don't to like food. I don't like things that have- They just sound like syllables. Like, names of things that just sound like syllables. Pho. What is that? It just sounds like you, you were about to say something, but then you forgot. City base. I got myself the chicken and shrimp I pho. Believe, and I, I can't believe she still has that piercing under, uh, like on her lip, underneath her, her lip there. 
the smiley piercing. So folded. So fucked, bro. Like, nobody's looking at that shit. Anybody that sees that, they're just thinking that you have, like, braces. But obviously, you don't have braces. It's just a stupid piercing. Fixed up my broth with chili oil, hoisin, onion, cilantro, and y'all already know I like my shit hella fucking spicy. So I added some sliced jalapenos and a fuck ton of sriracha. And, bitch, it was so fucking good. Night for dinner, I went to my mom's house, and for an appetizer, I had some shrimp ceviche for with some avocado huh? and some crackers. Ooh. And then for my meal, I had some shredded brisket tacos with Damn. some pico de gallo, avocado, Calm and some hot cheetos. That shit is leaking. That shit is wet. What you doing? Avocado with some hot cheetos. Big as fuck. If you're really listening to this video right now, do me a favor, go to the comments, and let's do a little birthday check-in. Let me know. <laughs> Am I? Am I? Happy birthday. I'm happy that it was your birthday. I'm happy you celebrated in the way that you did. Um, GG. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Uh, your eyebrows look a lot better since the last time I saw you. Hairline's still amazing. Um, but you're still big back. What the hell happened? I haven't reacted to this woman in like over six, seven, eight, seven, eight months. Um, how are you still this big? You know what your sign is and when your birthday is. What my sign is, bro? Stop. Stop it, bro. Stop it. Stop with the sign shit as if it means anything at all. I hate when people ask you, hey, what's your sign? You know what's my sign, huh? You know what my sign is, bro? I'm a Scorpio. That's right. Super aggressive. I love Legos and I I, I love bullying people. I, I love it. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio. I'm lying. I'm not a Scorpio. I'm a Cancer. What does that mean, huh? Were you wrong? How do you feel now? When everybody was like, wow, you are a Scorpio, David. You are a bullier. You are a mean person. No, I'm a pussy. I'm a bitch. I'm super emotional about everything, apparently. I don't know. I'm not emotional, though. A lot of people say that cancers are emotional. I'm obviously not emotional. I've never been emotional. I'm a very logical individual. For dessert, I'm having literally the best cake ever, which is some of my mom's homemade banana. 27? You look 27. It's and a cream cake. But yeah, that is everything I had for the day. Like I always tell you, that's not about me. I'll give you that, though. It's not too bad. All things considered, it's not that bad. What did you eat today? Let me know in the comments. Well, let me think about that for a second. Nah, that shit was pretty bad. Nah, that shit, when you started your day eating Mickey D's, you had that cake at the end of the day, like, I mean, I guess your birthday, but I can't even, like, your body, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of unbelievable how big you are, maybe you gotta stay away from the cake a little bit, uh, maybe instead of eating the cake for your birthday, you could have done something else, like, you could have sucked on the back of a strawberry or something. Comments, bye! This is what a fat girl eats in a day. I just don't like this girl, it's just something about her, she looks like Madonna, if Madonna just... Never stopped eating, you know? Like, if Madonna got depressed and started eating. I know Madonna's, like, really cringy right now. Like, I saw a video of her the other day, and she was, like, kissing the phone screen. And I was like, isn't this woman, like, 68? Uh, why does she look like that? Like, why does she look like an anvil? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you know those anvils that people, like, make swords on? Like, like ding, ding, ding. Like, that's what she looks like. Why doesn't she just embrace the fact that she's an elder lady? Which is okay. I'm sure a lot of people would be okay with uh, looking at M Madonna with the idea of a very attractive elder lady, but instead she wants to emulate her face looking like a, literally like, I'm sure it's hard too. I'm sure it's hard like a, an anvil as well. But uh, I saw a video of her kissing the phone and I thought I was so uncomfortable watching it. Cause I was like, that's so diabolically disgusting. Why does she look like that? Just starting off with a bacon, egg and cheese on a jalapeno and cheddar bagel. And I have a holiday sauce to dip. What is holiday sauce? Oh, it's so wet. Good. Ugh. Oh, can you at least put a napkin on that shit? Now you got to wash your hands after because it's so wet on the outside. I don't like it. Ugh. And then I have my cranberry juice. Okay, that's cool. Cranberry juice. I don't. I fuck with cranberry juice. I know a lot of people think you're a bitch for drinking cranberry juice. I fuck with it. I think cranberry juice is fine. If you want to drink cranberry juice, go ahead. I don't think you're a pussy for that. I think you're a good person for drinking cranberry juice. As always, I have my water. I have one of these. Oh, uh, dude, man, it's some big back shit. She really do got the little Debbies on deck. That's crazy. That's crazy as hell. You really got the little Debbies, huh? You got the Halloween ones too? Why? Little Debbies is ass. I mean, don't get me wrong. When I was a kid, I used to eat little Debbies. But here's the thing. When I was a children, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was literally sitting there. Get, whatever you would give me to eat, I would just put in my mouth. I didn't even care what it was. I was literally sucking on nickels when I was like, I don't even know, dude. When I was a tad youngster, when I was like 15 or something like that. Um, no, not when I was 15, 14. No. Uh, but when I was a kid, you just kind of give things to kids and they would just eat it. They don't understand the value of anything. Um, you just kind of eat whatever. And as you get older, you realize, like, what the fuck was I eating, bro? That shit was literally some diabolical-ass, terrible fucking food. But to be an adult and eat Little Debbie's, 
you gotta have some major like smooth brain orders, bro. I don't know what it is. Like when you eat the little Debbies, does your brain like slowly but surely like lose like I don't know like v B2, the vitamin B2, and like your brain slowly starts to like just malnourish itself? Like how does this work exactly? Halloween cupcakes. <laughs> Like, at this point, right, you know, like, you know when you eat Oreos and you pop the top, like, you pop the, the top of the Oreo and you're choosing what side you want to eat, right? You got the side with no with no uh, cream and you got the side with the cream. Um, you might as well at that point be choosing what side of the Tide Pod you're going to be eating first because, like, it's, it's about the same fucking thing. You, you, you're really out here eating Little Debbie's as a grown-ass woman. It's something different about you. And also, refill number two. I have Parmesan crusted pastry puffs. What is, oh, her eyes are kind of, they're hurting me, bro. It, it looks so weird in the, in the eyes. They're like little hot dogs. Can you print on a light bag there? Oh, what do you got, sprinkles? You got some jimmies on your eyes? What'd you miss when you were making that cake earlier? Cool, I don't, I don't want to see you eating. Just show me the fucking food. I don't give a fuck about this I shit. I have my Diet Coke. Cool. And then of course, Another water refill. That's great. How much water is that? Right. What is this, like a 20 ounce? Piece of Halloween candy. No, that's more than a 20 ounce. It's gotta be like a 30 ounce, right? Frozen. Strawberry I don't care. cheesecake with yogurt. Yeah. It's not too bad. Yogurt is good. I heard that yogurt is good for your, your, uh, your egg sac cycle. There was that Jamie Lynn, whatever her name was, back in the day, when she was doing a Yo Play Light commercial, she would tell people to, uh, oh, I'm the scream, I'm the queen of scream, and guess what? If you want to be really good on your period, then make sure you guys get Yo Play Light, because Yo Play Light helped me with my period. And I remember watching that, and I was like, dude, aren't you like 58? Like, you haven't had your period in like literally 18 years. Like, I'm, you know what I'm talking about? I think I was around the same time. I was like, you're, my whole life is literally just you not having your period anymore. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Shut the fuck up. You don't have your period anymore. It's like those old, um, proactive commercials. You remember those proactive commercials that they have like Adam Levine on there and like Oprah Winfrey and they'd come on there like, make sure you check out proactive today. Before proactive, I had so much acne and it was insane. But then I started using proactive and now I have none. I'm like, dude, you're like 42. You, you have not acne since you were like probably 19. What are you talking about, bro? You're obviously fucking lying. And you know what? I'm sick of these fucking infomercials, dude. I was watching an infomercial the other day. You know when they show... Like, I'm not watching it, but you go over to somebody's house that has cable. Which is weird, by the way. Nobody has cable anymore. But you go over to somebody's house that has cable, and they're watching infomercials. Like, a whole channel dedicated to them. I don't know what the fuck they're doing watching that shit. I guess it's probably the equivalent of me watching, like, dual logs. 20-hour uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! facts or something like that. I'm sure it's, like, background audio or whatever. But it's watching this shit. And there was a woman, and she was like, I used the serum, and it completely evaporated my dark spots. It got rid of my crow's feet. I'm like, dude, you were black like 20 seconds ago. What the hell happened? Like, it's not even the same woman, bro. It's a completely different person. And they always do that shit where women, like, it's almost always women because I guess guys don't give a fuck about themselves. But it's like women showing off their midsection like, oh, my God, I am so snatched. Or whatever the equivalent is when you're 44 to say that you're snatched. But... She was like, I'm so snatched. And I looked at the before and after and I was like, that's not even, what is, what, you don't even have the same bone structure. Like, what is this serum going to, this serum is going to like literally evaporate my bones? Like, how does this work exactly, bro? And it's like, I don't know. What is up with, what is up with these infomercials? Like, have they always been like that? I don't remember them being that bad when I was growing up. Anyway, let me know down below about these infomercials. It's pretty good. I don't like granola in the yogurt because the texture, it just kind of, it's off. It's kind of off a little bit. Um, in my opinion, it'd be like, I was watching a video of a, an Indian man the other day. Man, I don't know what's up about India living on hard mode or whatever. And I also don't understand why these Indian dudes always got to get hit, get hit by trains. It was that like a sign of passage or something over there. Like, you do know that trains are pretty linear, right? Like, I was watching, there's like, okay. If you go on Reddit and you just type in Indian train, it's li there's literally a subreddit called like Indian uh, train final boss. And for some reason, these Indian dudes love taking pictures in front of trains, like standing there in the tracks, but they don't realize that like the tracks, right? But then the train stretches out farther than the track, right? You know what I'm talking about? Because like the wheels and then there's the, the train itself. But these dudes just be sitting there on the side of the track and they get hit by the, they get hit by the train and they die. But, you know, it's, it, the funny thing is, right, it'd be one thing if you get hit by a train. And then I could be like, bro, 
What are you fucking dumb? Like, why would you get hit by this fucking train? What are you stupid? It's a train. You do you didn't know that shit was coming. It was barking at you. It was saying a whole bunch of noise, and you were standing in front of it. Thought you were so badass taking a picture of this shit, walking next to it for some reason. I don't know what the I don't know what the equivalent here in America would be. I guess like like standing next to a gas pump while putting gas in your fucking V8. Uh, scat pack or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. But anyway, these dudes are walking down the track, get hit by the train, and they go flying off. But they die. So you can't even talk shit to them anymore because they're dead. So because they're dead, you can't be like, bro, you fucking suck. How the fuck? How'd you not know this was a train that was going to beat your ass? Um, but they're dead, so you can't say shit about it. Maybe I'm just an asshole, but... Um, I see too many of these Indian dudes just get murked up by trains or these dudes that just be hanging off the side. Like, do they not have rules and regulations in India on like, no, you know, like we, even though the doors are open, don't lean out the side of the train. But I saw this Indian dude, I've seen this quite a bit. This Indian dude is just holding on like by a pipe on the side of a train and he was just leaning out, like leaning out of the train woo, 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 and he got hit by a pole and he flew up to the side and he's dead. <sighs> Man, what is up with you guys? Like, you know, so much trains. What is up with the trains over there? You guys can't eat meat. You know, you guys literally, my bad, you guys can't eat cows. You guys pray to cows and shit. And there's cows in the middle of the street beating up children. I saw it. I see tons of videos of cows literally in the street. Kids are walking by them. The cows see them and they see they're going to start a fight with the kids. I mean, obviously, you can, I could beat a fight. I could, I could beat up a couple kids, right? But these cows, they see these dudes and then they beat up the kids and they don't do anything about it because they're like, oh, that's my cousin Jeremy. Like, he just reincarnated as a cow. No, that's not Jeremy, bro. That's a whole ass cow. That motherfucker just beat up three children. You got to put some work in on that shit. Put them in a cage or something, dude. God damn, man. Even in society, we got rules, right? We can't just let cows beat up kids. I don't know, man. I'm never, I'm not going to India, bro. Fuck that. I just saw a video too of these people bathing in the water uh, over there in India or whatever. And this, it was like soapy water. But I looked in the comment section, like, yeah, that shit is like sewage. That's like sewage water. Like there was a dude like somewhat down the, down the road. He was just dumping ass straight up into water. And I saw these, these women glazing themselves out in this holy water. I was like, this, what kind of holy water is this, bro? This is some straight up sewage shit. Anyway. Never catch me going to fucking India. Fuck that. I'm happy here. Made the viral pick a witch sandwich. I mean the viral. Maybe I just I'm not caught up at times, bro. I just don't understand viral anymore. Like pickle sandwich, man. Why? Like who decided that was gonna be a viral thing? Can I just make a viral trend right now? Oh, peanut butter and peanut butter and you know pop tart sandwich. Oh, it's so great. Wow, it's like it's like the best. Make sure you guys try it because it's the viral trend. Peanut butter and pop tart sandwich. Make sure you guys do that. But watch out because it's got diabetes. Macaroni salad and these are so Okay, are these all the viral trend or cream and chive chips or something like that? Yeah. And then I made my own dressing to dip it in. What where, where'd that come from though? I think there's a reason why we have bread for sandwiches. I don't think the pickles were ever come on now. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. It's not. It's fucking a pickle. It's a pickle. Listen, you're going to do this this one time. You made this video. You made your face. I guarantee you're never going to do this ever again because it's diabolical. Pickle as the bun? What are you, crazy? But there's a reason why we have bread, okay? Because that's what the bun is. Don't, don't. Just shut the fuck up, bro. Just shut up, man. Stop. Arizona tea. I'll fuck with the Arizona. Chips and cheese. They said they can do one more. You got to be careful with your fingers when you eat like that. Damn. And turkey. Fully inflated on the fingers, man. It always creeps me out when people got extra weight on the hands. You know? Because I see it like it's just like inflated. I have peaches. Okay, peaches are okay. I fuck with peaches. Yeah. Can't really do too bad with the peaches. Yeah, peaches is always going to be good. I'll fuck with it. This is a realistic what I eat in a day as a... I don't really... I don't like flats sometimes. Like, when I see flats on bigger women, I'm like, is that not uncomfortable? Like, you, you have no support. You, your feet are literally touching raw concrete. Like, raw pavement. You know? Raw asphalt. Just chilling on your feet. Uh, does that look uncomfortable? I don't know. The plus size. It's like those toe shoes. These are like better. These are like, my bad. These are like less aesthetically pleasing toe shoes. And those were pretty bad. Girly, just living my life. Today was Monday and I was in the office today. You have a backpack? Oh. So for breakfast, Damn. I had a pancake, sausage, corn What do you mean, uh? I'm literally seeing two, two sticks. That one you're holding and the one on the plate. What do you mean, uh? 
I saw, I'm seeing two. And it's actually so delicious. They're just microwavable, by the way. Those are, I mean, you could say they're delicious, but I mean, I guess your palate's so incredibly busted up at this point, it doesn't even matter. Um, whatever. Um, and then at work, I had some coffee. I fuck with pretzels. I know a lot of people don't like them. I like pretzels. And for a mid morning snack, I had some pretzels and Chobani? this strawberry cheesecake yogurt from Cho Ch Chobani. seems like the big back connoisseur it's i guess the all the people that are big as hell think that chobani is like a cheat code you know what i'm saying like oh i can eat good and i can eat healthy it's not healthy by Bonnie. the way um it was actually pretty good it was my first time trying it and i liked it cool what else do you like so for lunch i made a caesar salad in a bag okay. um this bag is from lidl and i brought some chicken and leftover from home and okay. i threw that in the bag and you know what this is a nice and easy way for me to eat my lunch out of the bag you True. know i have no problem with this at all bro that's perfectly fine just the way to do it sometimes work smarter not harder ladies um so then i went home she got that necklace from sheen bro i saw that shit on sheen bro don't lie to me man i saw that same necklace nice. on sheen work smarter not harder ladies um so then i went home i had a balance break before dinner and then for dinner i had mashed potatoes and a chicken cutlet and then for dessert i had oatmeal damn I fuck with oatmeal. I do. For some reason, this oatmeal kind of looks like mold. It kind of looks like mold growing on the side of the wall. You know? Like it's somebody's bathroom. Like you walk into somebody's bathroom that just obviously doesn't care about washing it. And then you look at the corner of the room and it's like you see this. Just like mold growing out and the spiders coming out. Raisin cookies and it was great. But I eat Overall, it's not too bad. Like not too bad overall. I mean, it's, generally speaking, it was all right. The day as a happy fat woman. This is a mostly snack day, starting off with my little snack of a husband. That's your husband? Let me see real quick. Hold up. This is a mostly snack day, starting off with. Hold up. Yeah. Damn. That's your husband? You sure about that? You want to take another another look? You sure that's a husband? Damn, he kind of got something going on. Your husband look good. Your husband look... I'm, so, I'm heterosexual, by the way. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to have to say. You sure that's your husband? Damn, I mean... Well, I think it's great when guys is glued it up. That's awesome, by the way. Um, Don't let the women have the only have, be the only ones that have big butts. Women have big butts. Men can have big butts, too. They go for everything, too, as well. For sitting down... Uh, maybe your girlfriend want to get a little bit exotic in the bedroom. Maybe she brings something extra to you. Maybe she want to put a couple fingers in. I would never do it personally. Fuck that. But if you wanted to do it, I'm not going to look down upon you. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, I think it's fine. It's okay. I would never do that. Fuck that. But uh, if you wanted to do that gay ass shit, you can go ahead. With my little snack of a husband. <laughs> First of all, you ain't never referring to me as a snack. I'm a big ass man. I got big meat. Kind of leftover. Got a lot of leftovers in here, dude. Damn, man. The fridge is kind of kind of busting out the steam, bro. Overweight as fuck. First from a family gathering, and so I Damn. had some fruit. I didn't eat all of the eggs that are right there. Damn, I had a lot of eggs. I'll fuck with it, though. Eggs is good. Even though I have literally 20 of them, but yeah, we had good. some fruit. Some grapes, blueberries, watermelon, a little kiwi, a okay. little side of a kitty cat while watching Survivor. It was great. I had some leftover spinach and artichoke dip, so I heated that up for a little second. My husband likes to leave little angel numbers around, and 122 is one of our favorite numbers together, and so I thought that was really cute. I am fully obsessed with these uh, little macarons from Trader Joe's. I had a pistachio Macaroons. One. I don't fuck with I mean, I've never had macarons. They look like pretty patties, though. I've talked about this before. Let I me see them real quick. I am fully obsessed with these little macarons from Trader Joe's. I had a pistachio. Yeah, they look like pretty patties, don't they? Look at these things, man. Yeah, literally pretty patties. Yeah, one, and then a lemon one, and I think Damn. this one is the amaretto or apricot one. Snack number four. Damn. Are there any meals? No, cheese it. Snack number five. I had the rest of the cheesecake. It was pumpkin cheesecake. I will always. Now I see why you big bag, bro. Oh, but I gotta keep it a buck. Ooh, N64 spotted, dude. Fuck with it. That's I gotta keep it a buck. GG on that. The N64 is a that is a meta console i mean the controller is ass i don't know what the fuck they were thinking making that shit it's almost kind of like they didn't realize that human beings had three hands i don't know what the fuck they were doing like you know basic idea of a controller is two what am i doing with this middle shit like why am i gonna hold into this middle like what's my other hand doing right what am i doing with this huh uh, to be honest like if, if you told me you put it upside down and you said listen 
N64 controller. It's not a controller. It's actually a big butt plug. It's like a giant uh, retro dildo before people realized that women didn't have three holes. Um, you, you could sit on this and it'll be fine. It's good in your ass. I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Get pumpkin cheesecake and I will always share whipped cream with my little girl. She loves cake and whipped cream. I don't get it, whatever. If cats can't taste sweet, what do they taste when they taste whipped cream? What is, is it just like mystical cream water? Like what is it to them? Grabbed a little pebble in the patty. It was supposed to be pumpkin shaped. It wasn't. And now here's the meal of the day. Oh, big, big. You had so many leftovers. Why you have so much leftovers if you were just going to order pizza? What's the purpose of this? Why you even bother then? If that's the case, you had so much left over. Why you wanted a pizza? Too good to go from our, two of our favorite lo local pizzeria places. So I had half of a margarita, half of a grandma. And you a big as fuck. You having half a half. You had a full pizza in your mouth. You big as fuck. That's big as hell. God damn, you big as fuck for eating half and half. That's a big full grandma a la vodka. God damn. A slice and it was delicious and a full coke just a and a ranch and my little side of white creamy sauces and it was damn just a two sauces mwah, 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 gorgeous that's it guys that's the end of the video i appreciate everybody coming through today watching today's video you really smell so good today by the way look at you smelling so delicious so smell goodish you got the best oranges too by the way i love the way your oranges taste they smell so good i know you buy them from the grocery store but they taste good i love the way they're so citrusy and i like the way you know when you peel off i peel off personally all the little veins on them and stuff like that. i don't like them but uh i like that they just taste so good in my mouth so juicy so delicious uh if you watch the video and entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in orange because orange is appropriate today it's very good it's very delicious um they smell good too and by the way if you ever peel an orange and you look at it vertically like you know what i'm talking about not from the side but you look at it from the top sometimes you might you might look at it a little bit different all i'm saying but you smell great uh, you do smell great today. I know you didn't put on deodorant. I know you didn't, but that's why I think you smell so great. I think your natural aura, your natural foundation, your natural idea of your body is a smell good. I think it's a very good smellist. And you're a smell good individual, obviously. You got the smell good itis, and I fuck with it. I think it's great. I think it's beautiful. I think you're beautiful. But anyway, guys. We're getting the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be listed down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.